Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to Feed the Beast Unleashed with me, Jarek. As you can see, we've got a hell of a lot of lava now. And we've got a new little building over there, I'll, I'll talk about that later in a minute. Now, one thing I do want to do is the pool of lava we moved this pump into has uh, sadly run out. Now I've turned the lava pump off, these are still going though. So I'm going to have to move the pump down here. Okay, so we last episode we set it up over here. And that didn't... Whoop, lucky I pumped that out. And that didn't last long. So you can see it was just this little bit here. And then uh, I set it up here in between episodes. And this is pumped out already. So we've got to move it again. Got to find another pool. Cool, there's some diamonds down there. I mean... We need something bigger than that, really. Let's look on the map. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Right, let's pick up all this crap, actually, first. Stick this over here. Let's get all this. And we need a nice big pool so we don't have to faff around with it for a while. This one lasted quite a while. Last but not least. Pump. Right. Ouch. Now, I thought, oh, bloody hell, there's loads of lava on the map. There seems to be some further this way. Whole river, in fact, this way. Uh, I don't know if that's part of it. Uh, see more down here. Oh. Does that go under there? No. Yeah, is that the edge of it? I wonder if this is connected to a bigger pool of lava. Or it's worth setting it up here in hopes it will... Because the thing with the pump is it, it won't just suck the immediate area. It will suck anything that water is connected to or liquid is connected to. So if there is a bigger pool of lava, sort of deeper down spreads out a bit further, it will suck all that as well. I think we should give it a go. I think we should get some dirt out. I reckon this is connected to a bigger river of lava. Right, we need... we need the pump. We need all our redstone engines. Do and... And the others. Couple of levers. And got pipes. Oh, that's right. The annoying thing is, we do have to set this up every bloody time. Send lava. Yes. And off we go. <laughs> now, one or two things can happen with this. You could end in five seconds, and all that lava just go, or it could last us quite a long time. Stick. Oh, there is a torch. Quite a lot of minerals around here. There we go. Right, lava's being sucked up. Let's have a look. God knows. Oh look, a zombie. Two zombies. That one's stuck down there. Alright, back to the surface. Right, and now we're getting lava again. Good, good. Good, yeah. Now you might have noticed this earlier. This is uh, I think one of the mods in this pack. When I started, 
I, I don't know if you watched the first episode, but we had this book, Materials Are New, by Skylar. In fact, the last one's by someone else. Um, and I said I had enough, no idea what all that's about, so I ignored it. And uh, it's actually quite an interesting mod pack, that I, or mod that's in this pack. And uh, these are most of the bits and pieces for it. Uh, I was actually inspired by the Oxcast, who's got this in their mod pack as well, and started using it. And it actually looks quite useful and quite cool. Anyway, let's start. Right, in the first book, it's got most of the basic stuff. Yeah, that. This is a stencil table. You put a blank pattern in here, pick a pattern, and you click that, and you can get it. And then if you put them all in a pattern chest and build a part builder, so you've got the pattern chest connected there, you can go large blade pattern, put some, no, I don't want gravel, stone in there. Oh, cost is eight, actually. Let's pick something not so daft. A oh, pickaxe head. Put stone in there, you get a stone pickaxe head. Oh, I don't want that in there. Over there. And then if we go to this one, Go pickaxe, it says you need pickaxe head, tool binding, and a handle. And you can make yourself a pickaxe. But you can make it out of anything, a combination of anything. Which can make some interesting tools, not to mention some of the other stuff. And it can have upgrades on it as well. Let's go, just, go away, let's go a bit quickly. Now I've already set that up, as you notice, I've already got all the patterns for it. I've already got, it's not hard to get all the patterns, don't worry, you don't have to find them or anything, you just gotta literally scroll through the pattern list on the, on this thing, stencil table, just scroll through the list and literally pick out every pattern. Got all the patterns for it, got all the parts, but that's just if you want to make basic tools. You know, this, this won't make you some iron tools or anything like that. For that, you need this, which I haven't actually completed yet. I've got the completing blocks here that I want to deal with. Now this is a smeltery. Now I've made a huge one. You don't need to make one this big. In fact, you all you need is that 3x3 three three square at the bottom there. If you make that, and then around the edge, on each side, just three of uh, the seared bricks on each side, and then and you pop down a smeltery controller and at least one seared tank though I want to. There you go. And it'll always be like that on fire, whether it's on or not or got stuff on it. And that's my smeltery done. But if the taller you make it, the more you can put in it. In it. And these on here, these aren't necessary but are kind of necessary. I mean, the smeltery will work without them, but to get the metal out, you need these, which are the drains, I think, seared brick drains or something, and these, which are the chutes. And these are just the, the, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. First thing I need is some gold. Now, gold is pretty useless when making when making um, tools and such. It's usually the crappiest thing to make tools out of. Right, how many of these are there? 10, 20, 24. Oh, I need 24 bits of gold. Now, I don't know if it... I think it still accepts pulverized gold. I hope it does. There you go, 24 bits of gold. And, oh, I've got to fill it up with lava. No. Yeah. Let's get some buckets. Oh, 
I've right, got all these buckets of lava. You fill up these seared tanks. I'm not sure how these tanks work, to be honest. I've just put two on the bottom row because you're supposed to have at least one on the bottom row. But I'm not sure if two on the bottom row really improves performance or not. I don't know. But anyway, this stuff starts smelting. Probably. Oh, oh, wow. And that's what powdered gold looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it'll show you whatever block's in there. If you could look in the top, you can see, but in fact, I might. There you go. It shows you what kind of block's in there. Now, the reason I'm using gold is while gold is useless for making tools, I can make casts out of it. And casts are just like these things, except they are for making metal stuff. I mean, you can't pour molten metal into wooden wooden stencils. That would just be madness. Maybe I'll put more fuel in this. I don't know. Come on. Sure, it's done. There we go. We've got 24 ingots worth of molten gold. Oh, if you put an ore in it, it should make two ingots, I think. So we've been told. So there's me molten gold just sitting on the floor there and then oh I don't know why I've done that that's not exactly what I want right now what we need to do to make a cast is make a a stone version of each of these things I believe, I'm just making this up as I go along, but I believe it's a stone version of each of these things, or any kind of version of each of these things. Uh, sword blade. And an axe head. Let's just do the top row for now, the top six. And then if I stick, say, the axe head in here, click on here, There you go. I've got a cast. And if I pop that down there, and I add some molten metal in there, it'd fill that and make whatever it is. If you want to make the proper metal weapons and that, and the really fancy weapons, you need one of these tool stations. They're quite expensive on iron, I believe. Or, oh, I believe. I just made one, and they were... <laughs> So right, I'm going to cut ahead to once I made all these casts. There we go, all done. But we still have some gold left. And I thought it was one ingot worth of gold per per um, doodah, per cast. But it turns out it's not. Some casts take more. So um, I had to fill it up a few times with gold. So it takes a lot more than 24 gold. I think it took nearly the whole 64. But we do have 10 left. And there is one cast I forgot. If you put an ingot in there. And... Dunk. And this one at the end, because those are for casts. This one at the end is... Uh, it'll make a whole block. It'll make a full block. Which is good if you've got absolutely tons of material in here. And you just want to siphon off whole blocks at a time. Right, let's make um let's make something oh I need for our first go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What we can we make? We do a bow, short bow, what's the point in that? A sign frying pan. Um see some of these tools have got really cool things. This can fell trees. So it'll it can fell an entire tree, which is useful over your standard axe, obviously. Excavator, broad digging tool, uh, three by three 
dirt area. That does a three by three sort of um, stone area. Uh, let's see what else we got. Hatchet. Oh, it's a basic chopping tool. Yeah, yeah let's go for an offensive weapon. Is that a sword blade? A thing and a thing. A thing, a thing, and a thing. Uh, that thing. That thing, I think. And that thing. Right, let's see if this works. Uh, that thing, that thing, that thing. No? Is that not that thing? That's definitely that thing. Yeah. It's getting dark. Dragon morning. Hmm. I think I made the wrong one. I think I must have made the big one. Alright, let's make this one. Right. Uh, what was it? That one. So that. That. And that. There we go. Oh, I've still got. Have I still got tons? See, I've still got twenty-two in there. So if I go, pop. That should knock it down. Thirteen. Yeah, that's nine. We've got a block of iron, which is nine iron ingots. There we go. Now, this does get a bit more advanced than just iron and crap like that. If you look in the Mighty Smeltery book, that's what you can build, just a single layer. But I didn't want to. You can make bronze, aluminium, brass, blah, blah, blah. God knows what that is. Alumite, made from aluminium, iron, obsidian. That should be quite easy to make. Uh... No, the best stuff's in the second book. It's this one. Yeah, you describes all the different tools. Um, and then different materials. So you got iron, paper, cobalt. So it shows all your what it'll give you. Mining level reinforced. Handle durability. And then you can upgrade them. That's another point. Let's up, try and upgrade one. So what does that do? Extra durability. Right. So that's the... Um, oh. That's another block. How much have we got left? Four. So that's the basics of that. I mean, that took quite a lot of material and work just to get the basics. And I'm not sure what to do about this building yet, what's put on the roof or anything. Any ideas, as ever, leave them in the comments. Uh, uh, that's about it, I think. Next episode, I might try something. I might go back to the nether. I want to go back to the nether, but I want some armour to go back to the nether. So I might go for some of the power armour. I think it's in this mod. See power, power armor. Yes, I prefer this version of it. Reinforced iron, electric, bloody that. Eight, oh, silver, copper makes eight wire. That only makes two. Okay, each mod I've played, each mod pack I've played, these things are built differently. I think, yes, I need an emerald. A village, or... Yeah, I don't think I've got any emeralds out of the 
quarry. Let's have a look. Uh, being the mess. No. I've definitely got none in here. Yeah, right. Next next objective, get an emerald, make some power armor, find a village, and uh, go back to the nether, get some of that cool, sweet loot in the nether. There was tons of shit in there. It's just I kept dying every five seconds. Ah, and uh, I'm going to upgrade that as well. I'll do that quickly now, actually. I've got all the materials. No. No. Well, uh, where are you, French? Face the right way. Wow, that was wrong. Come here. Come here. Some more gold piping. Yeah, that'll feed to that. That's already feeding to that. And that'll feed to that. There we go. Much better. Right. I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!